Hey friends, uh, if you are available for the next 15 or so minutes, join me live in this video. I'm going to speak about some breaking news, hence my little icon here about breaking news. So if you're on and you're watching this uh, broadcast, um, chime in, chime in, tell me who you are, where you're watching from. But I'm actually in between meetings, friends, and so I'm gonna make this one fairly quick. I have a, a meeting at one o'clock Eastern time. And so, um, yes, for those of you who are new to me, I'm Latoya McBean Pompey, immigration lawyer in New York, and um, also founder of Smart Immigration Academy. So I see that a few of you have joined. Hi, good to see you, uh, Ronald. Thanks for joining. Um, thank you for that, Junaid. I appreciate that. Brian, hi, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna dive right in, friends. And as I go through what I'm calling breaking news, feel free to continue to comment. Continue to let me know who's watching and where you're watching from. Uh, good to see you guys. Good to see you as well. Um, and yeah, so let's dive right in. So two very important uh, updates that I have for you guys. And I have some notes here because I want to make sure this is as organized as possible for you. So friends, uh, the first news is with respect to the 60 day suspension, okay? Or the new travel ban that's in place that I've talked about and that others have been talking about, the Trump suspension. And remember, I um, I also did a video called 60 day suspension in which I, I talked about the fact that, um, well, I talked about the fact that Trump hinted at uh, what's coming next and what's coming next friends is uh, he wants to do some more big things with respect to immigration and suspensions and so on and so forth so what's happening now is that um, on capitol hill there are legislators who are working right now on legislation on creating a law a bill creating um legislation that would extend the 60-day suspension um they would extend it until after the national coronavirus emergency ends okay and as of the filming of today's video I don't think anyone knows when the national um, emergency will be suspended, will come to an end. So this is, this is huge because here you have legislators who are talking about um, creating a, writing a bill, introducing a bill that would extend the suspension. And of course, Trump himself, he has the authority to extend it, right, via another executive order. But what's being planned now, friends, is legislation that would throw in additional stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through um, a refresher of who this travel ban, the 60-day suspension applies to. And then I'm going to talk with you guys about what the senators on Capitol Hill are looking to throw in into, what, uh, into a new legislation that would extend the uh, suspension. So just so you guys know, it's Senator Daines. Senator Daines, he is the senator that's taken the lead on introducing this legislation. So for those of you who are here in America and you want to get involved in the, uh, the legislative process, um, you know, the Senator Daines is the person who is behind this. Now, uh, a refresher about the 60 day travel ban friends. And this is, I'm not going to go into great details because I have other videos on YouTube about this issue. Go check them out on McBean immigration law, uh, McBean immigration TV. So the refresher is this, the 60 day ban applies to people who are outside of America, who are outside of the U S who are going through an immigrant visa process, uh, to gain permanent residency here in the U S. So it applies to its impact in U S citizens, adult children, U S citizen parents, uh, U S citizens, siblings, green card holders, spouse, green card holder, children under 21 green card holder children who are over 21 and generally speaking those who are outside of america who are also going through an employment-based uh, green card program 
And there are some exceptions in the ban, right? The ban doesn't apply to the physicians, nurses, and researchers who are involved in COVID-19 work and such. So those exceptions are in there. Now, these are also individuals outside of America who um, a non-immigrant visa uh, was not issued to them by the date of this executive order, which is uh, April 23rd, 2020. Okay, so that's the refresher who uh, the, the ban applies to now who wasn't included in that 60-day ban friends well we know temporary people who have a non-immigrant visa of some sort right so we're talking about temporary visitors and people who have um, visas for temporary work programs we also know that green card holders are excluded from the travel ban as are the physicians nurses and researchers who i mentioned earlier now again that travel ban hinted that within 30 days trump will want to take additional measures to um to restrict immigration meaning people coming into america he wants to take additional measures to restrict the number of people coming into america and so here we have now a new uh bill that the legislators are pushing republican legislators are pushing that would include all of the features from this 60-day suspension okay it will include those uh, the 60-day suspension features that we just went over, and it would also add some more stuff. It and here's the, here's what they're saying: they want to give U.S. workers an advantage. So, what are they going to do to give U.S. workers an advantage in the job market? Because remember, guys, keep in mind that the 60-day ban is really focused on our economy and jobs and protecting jobs for U.S. workers. So with that in mind, you should know that whatever additional measures that they're working on, that's really the focus. And so what they want to do now is target those temporary worker programs. And so you may have read something in the news uh, just yesterday or today about this. And so that's what I'm talking about now. So but under this bill that Senator uh, Bain, Danes, Danes with a D, is um, put in together, certain groups of people will be excluded, right? Like folks who are applying for asylum and f folks seeking refuge, uh, refugees, right? Refugee seekers, so to speak, in the U.S. They would, they would be excluded from this. Also, those who are here in the U.S. going through the adjustment of status process would also be excluded from this, as are agricultural and healthcare worker jobs. So, uh, healthcare. I'm sorry agricultural and healthcare workers. So we have not seen this bill yet. It has not been officially introduced. So once it's introduced, I will go into much greater details as far as what's included in this. But the overall um, plan, friends, is to expand the 60-day uh, suspension until the end of the national emergency around coronavirus. And the goal is to target, to provide more job opportunities for U.S. workers. And um, this legislation, the way that it, it looks right now, it's targeting those who are outside of America. But that may change. And here's, and now this is the segue into the second breaking news that I want to share with you guys. And this is related to the temporary worker program, related to temporary worker programs. Okay. And so yesterday, a number of senators uh, wrote a letter, which is what they do. They write letters um, and they sent a letter over to the president and they all signed it. And they are now, they're asking that, um, yes, they want the 60 day suspension to be ex extended, um, that ban to be extended, but they also specifically are calling for the suspension of the H1B visa program. They're calling for the suspension of H2B visa program, and they are calling for the suspension of OPT the optional practical training program that those who are here in the U.S. on an F-1 student visa can then, um, you know, benefit from staying here longer and getting work experience and also helping U.S. companies to, you know, 
helping those companies, right? And so OPT is on the chopping block with respect to what the senators are asking for, H-1B and H-2B. They're asking that those programs be suspended for one year, one year. Why? To give U.S. workers an advantage and also for college students who are, you know, students are, you know, they're getting out of school soon and they have no job lined up. And so they want to give these students an opportunity to get some of these seasonal jobs at resorts and hotels and other things. And I don't even know how, how they would get those jobs, really. Are those com- are resorts hiring today? Um, you know, given the coronavirus pandemic and the crisis that those companies are facing right now. I don't know how many jobs this would even, how many jobs are available to college students generally, but I, I want to reserve my comments for another video. I just want to share with you the breaking news. So again, friends, we're talking H1B, H2B, and the OPT op- optional practical training program. So the senators who are behind this initiative um, include Senator Ted Cruz out of Texas, Senator Chuck Grassley, Tom Cotton, um, and Josh Hawley. Okay. So again, the really, the, the purpose behind this is um, to open up job opportunities for U.S. workers. So friends, which industries would most likely be, um, which industries would most likely be impacted by what's happening? And so for H-1B programs, uh, H-1B visa, we know we're talking about tech companies and some other com- uh, type of companies that where uh, technology is the focus, tech companies. H-2B visas are focusing on industries involving landscaping and resort businesses. And then, of course, OPT, that's very broad. It could touch almost uh, any industry. Now, the thing about this proposal is that, you know, these visa programs, hundreds of thousands of people are on these visas, right, each year. And so um, this is going to I think this is going to really uh, impact uh, U.S. companies in a negative way. Um, but let's let's see, because companies have been cutting back anyway because of the coronavirus pandemic. So as I've mentioned, the this suspension would be in place for one year. And I just want to read something here that's from the letter, right, what the senators say uh, as part of the rationale for this. Um, For many high school graduates and college students, they will spend the next few weeks at home making tough decisions about delaying or foregoing college this fall due to their limited family resources. There is no reason why these young people especially should not have access to seasonal non-agricultural work such as summer resort employment or landscaping before these those positions are given to imported foreign labor under under the H2B program. That's what the senators have said. Now, one final thing about what the senators are proposing. They also want to make a change to the EB-5 investor program, which is kind of surprising, right? Because, you know, Trump supports EB-5, right? The investor program, because these are wealthy investors who are investing a minimum of 900000 I believe, into the U.S. economy. But apparently this, these senators, um, they want to suspend this EB-5 investor program as well. And so friends, with that being said, I just want to share one uh, final thought before I go. I have a, a meeting shortly, but it looks like, you know, this whole idea of protecting econ- our, our economy, you know, certainly it's a good idea to protect the U.S. economy. Every country is trying to protect their economy at this point. But the thing is, as they are on Capitol Hill making these decisions about what programs to cut out and all of that, we have to really ask ourselves, what impact will any of this really make anyway in the job market? You know, coronavirus is still very much a real problem. Small businesses are suffering in a tremendous way. Is this really the way to go? Or is there another motivation behind all of this? And of course, as I've said, in my 60 day suspension um, video to you guys. Well, the live session I did about the Trump executive order, uh, This is, a lot of this is politically driven. And I don't know um, if any of this is gonna make any real impact in opening up opportunities for American workers to begin with. So this is, um, this is what's happening. Uh, again, just to summarize, um, 
Senator Daines is working on a legislation that would extend the 60 day suspension until the end of the um, coronavirus national emergency. Um, and then he also, they also want to include temporary worker programs, uh, H1B, H. H-1B, H-2B, and OPT are also being proposed to be suspended for a year, as well as the EB-5 investor visa program. So friends, um, thanks for watching this video. Share it with other people and continue to stay plugged in to the content that I'm sharing on McBean Immigration TV. Subscribe to that channel so that you'll be the first to get my videos almost daily these days. I'm putting out a lot of content for you. Um, so subscribe. If you need immigration services, give our office a call at 718-301-9732 so that you can meet with with me, set up a consultation. Uh, fee, our consultation fee is only $150, um, $150, which has been reduced under the coronavirus pandemic. So reach out to my office, book your consultation, and I'm happy to uh, speak with you about your immigration problem. Thanks so much for watching, and um, I'll, I'll catch you in the next session. All right, bye-bye. Guys, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend.